friends it's Mona with Rock City Tumblers and today I'm going to show you throughout this video how I made this 30 ounce domed stainless steel tumbler using um, different rhinestones so for today if you want to um, kind of mimic what I have done you are going to need the following supplies so it will need some spray paint because I did a peekaboo method um, so in this one I used um, a color shift paint that was close to my stone so I got this at Hobby Lobby for eight dollars and this one was called emerald turquoise and it matched match my stones really well <clears throat> you also need some um, uh, two-part epoxy for your tumbler um, you know and a tumbler to spin it on you'll also need um, I'd use black matte spray paint for my peekaboo part You'll need your rhinestone mix, so you'll need two different um, types. You'll need whatever your filler that you want for your design to be. Um, and I used a mix from Crystal Ninja, but you can pick mixes from like Diamond Firestone. Um, they have really great selection. Be Createful um, has some, um, you know, so there's lots of different companies out there that you can get these mixtures from. Um, so this was um, an exclusive mix last summer in the summer of 2020 that I was able to get on a really good sale. So I had several packages of these. Um, for the most part, I used SS20 black. Uh, these are glass rhinestones from pinkandpurplemonkey.com. You'll need some sort of recommended glue to glue your rhinestones on. Um, I use Super Tight Fusion Tack, and this is a little precision bottle that I got from the crystalninja.com. Works amazingly well. Um, some sort of tray to sort your beads. Crystal Picker Upper. This is the Crystal Katana. You can buy these at Hobby Lobby. You can also buy these on her website, crystalninja.com. Check out her Facebook page and Facebook group. Sometimes she has um, special codes to get a few dollars off her products. Um, you'll also need a smaller variety of stones um, for your fillers. And again, I got these from pinkandpurplemonkey.com. And um, this neoprene mat helps. You can use a mouse pad. It um, helps when you're picking up your stones. It, um, it uh, reduces the wear and tear on your um, pickup tool. And then you'll need um, a 20 or 30 ounce domed tumbler. These are stainless steel. You could do this on um, a plastic tumbler. I don't recommend it. This was a lot of work, a lot of time, um, and I wouldn't want the plastic to break. Um, so this one, um, the, they came out with these domed stainless steel tumblers in um, December of 2020, and so they have really good prices on them. They're strawblers. Well, they're built like strawblers where they have the little um, bottom on it. I don't have the bottom with me right now. Um, that will hold a, a little compartment of something down here. So you don't have to actually like worry about the epoxy in the bottom um, or the, that lower rim, things like that. So I do kind of like this design. I really love the dome. Um, so I did the scatter method up here. And you'll see all that later in the video. And then um, you'll also need some removable vinyl. Um, I don't have that pictured. Um, and that's for your peekaboo part. And, um, of course, you'll need to figure out what design you want. So I, I just put my name on here because I didn't know what else to do. Um, this tumbler is for me. It was an experiment. Um, and I'm really, really happy with it. So keep watching. And um, I will show you how I did it start to finish. So to start this skinny slurp, um, it's 30 ounce. I taped out, I sanded all the outside really well, cleaned it with blue dawn, and then I used electrical tape on the inside to cover the, um, the rings. And I did the same thing for the lid. I used electrical tape there so that the paint won't get on the threads. So I'm going to spray paint this black with a black spray paint with primer let that dry very well uh, let that dry really well and then I'm going to come and put um then I'm going to spray it with the color shift spray paint um let that dry really well both pieces 
And then um, on this one, I will put the decals that I want um, to jewel. And then I'm going to spray paint over the decals with black spray paint uh, as matte as possible. And then I will pull the decals up and that will expo hopefully expose the color shift paint underneath so that I can put the stones on that. And then the rest of it will be black rhinestones on top of black paint. All right, so I'll try to video it again. So the color shift paint I'm gonna use is Emerald Turquoise. It's from Testers. I got this in like the model car section of um, Hobby Lobby. It's $8. And you need to spray it over a black base. So I've spray painted this black. And I'll do the um, bottom part of the tumbler as well. And then I'll let this dry overnight and then put the vinyl on, respray the black, pull the vinyl like peekaboo, and then it'll be ready to put the stones on. This won't get any vinyl. Um, so this is going to all stay color shift. friends so I'm back and I'm going to attempt to put some rhinestones on this dome lid so this dome lid is part of this 30 ounce I'm not sure what it's called um strawbler koozie um it has a strawbler end, so there's a part that screws on that holds a straw, um, but it has a dome lid, and I can't remember the name of them. Um, these are Stainless Depot. So um, what I'm going to do on this is I'm going to put a decal that says Mona, and then I'm going to put on the other side um, some sort of mermaid silhouette, and then I might put some um, fins around places as well. Um, and so... Then I'll spray paint it black and pull the decal. And then everywhere that is showing this teal color, it's going to have this margarita mix from the Crystal Ninja. So I don't have enough. I got like seven of them. So I don't have enough to do the entire tumbler. So um, I'm going to just do bits and pieces. I'm going to do the whole dome. Look how beautiful these are. So I'm going to do the whole dome. And then, um, then I'll fill in the mermaid in my name with, with these. So I'm going to use the Bob Smith 30 minute. I'm going to back you up. It's just the first time I'm using it and I'm going to color it with some, um, mermaid, I think. I might use the Neridia. Um, and a little bit of glitter, Tulane glitter. So I've watched Kelly do it. I'm not 100% confident at doing the um, scatter method, but um, I've had these for many, many months trying to figure out what to do with them. I already have a 20 ounce bling tumbler, so this one's a 30 ounce. I don't know if it's much bigger because I think part of the ounces are in the lid and I won't use that part. I just think it looks really cool. I'm not a coffee drinker, but I like the look of the coffee cups. All right. So the Slow Cure 30 Minute Epoxy is equal to part hobby adhesive. Forms a high strength bond through chemical reaction. Should be applied in temperatures above 70 degrees Fahrenheit, which we're good. It's quite warm in our room. I have a picture of some scatter method from Kelly's on a dome to look at. And so what she does is she, these are probably sealed. Yes. She squirts a little bit out onto a post-it and mixes it together with some sort of stick. We're going to use, like, this cute, uh, maybe. Too thick. And 
and then we'll use this little silicone tool to apply it to the dome. So, come on, we're gonna get several toothpicks out. Okay, so let's cut the tips off. We're just gonna eyeball the measurements. Let's see if we can eyeball it in a good way. I guess there's another seal in there. Yep. I don't think she wears gloves when she does this. Let's see if we can eyeball this. The so one part should be thicker than another. the other. It's about even. Let's see how long to mix for. All right, six thirty, so that's thirty minutes. Um, doesn't really say how long to mix for. Make sure we get all the outsides to the inside, and then the insides to the outside. Get all the stuff off of the toothpick. There's no smell. That's nice. So typically I use the super tight fusion tack. But I had this, so I wanted to try it. So I thought I'd video it. So I'm going to try to video making the whole tumbler and uh, edit it together for you guys. So we're just going to try out a small part tonight. See how it goes, because I'm super anxious. These stones were not the cheapest, but she did have an amazing sale last summer on them, but I cannot get any more. They are out of stock. Okay, so let's put in just a smidge of the Narita, just from Pinky Purple Monkey, to just to color it just a little bit, even though the emerald spray paint is really close in color. I just want to be a little extra because I can. And then just a teeny, teeny bit of the glitter.
see what happens. Okay, I need to be able to use the toothpick to put it on the dome. So this is um, electrical tape there just from when I painted it. Alright, so here goes nothing. So, she ends up putting like a big spot of it. And then works her way. That um, color shift spray paint, it's testers. If you get it too thick, it, it clumps up into white. See that? But it's okay. It'll be all right. For the reasons I'm trying to color the epoxy so she usually gets a good spot running and then she starts to place her 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 stones and these little ridges give me a little bit of anxiety too so I have the crystal katana so one thing she said she's very careful about is being even with um, the stone placement. Make sure to use the big ones and the little ones or you'll end up just with all big ones not used. They're all so pretty. Try to flip them over. So let's just get going. Oop. I need to clean this. like a little puzzle trying to piece it all together and I'm a super fan of the honeycomb method because there's not a lot of choices going on on that. It's kind of a set pattern. And you just kind of do what is supposed to be done on the honeycomb method. This is so pretty. So pretty. So I might speed this up, depending on how boring it gets. So I gotta use big pieces. And like she does point out, it does shift on you. So you gotta kinda pay attention to it and make sure that you keep them all together. It does move. Right in front of your eyes. Oh, there's a pearl. It's 
pretty. She says, if you don't fill it all the way up, then um, you'll have a hump where that layer of epoxy should have been, or where the um, epoxy ends. gonna do the 30 minutes is getting too close Whew. not bad it's so pretty hi friends so it's been a few days and this is what the dome turned out to look like I am in love with it super sparkly adjust my light there um so this is the 30 ounce um forgot what they're called on the website i can post that uh, on the screen here um these are from stainless depot and they're stainless steel tumblers so this one's the 30 ounce and um i did discover something super cool Okay, these are the slurp handy slurp tumblers and so they have they're stainless steel so this one is from um, stainlessdepot.com they came out in December of last year of 2020 and so they're 30 ounce handy slurp and they have they have this stainless dome. Um, I don't know if they came with the straw. They probably did. Um, and then they have this end that yeah, the straws. Uh, no, I say that the straw goes in here, but no, this is just a little compartment. Um, not sure what you're supposed to put in there. But um, it screws on and off right there. And um, I believe this lid will fit on the 20 ounce. So I'm going to check. So here's the 20 ounce. We're going to check officially. I'm going to put the 20 ounce lid in the box so we can keep them separated. Okay. I'm going to put this lid, this 30 ounce lid on the 20 ounce and see if it fits. So it's the same lid. So um, I'm going to make um, a glitter base, a 20 ounce glitter base. And so I'll use the same lid, but I'll have interchangeable bottoms. And so if I want more drink, I will use um, the 30 ounce. And if I need less drink, I'll use the 20 ounce. How fun is that? Okay, so. The lids back, even though it doesn't matter, I'm going to put the lids back together. So um, I thought that was super cool. I discovered that. And I uh, thought I'd share that with you. Um, and it. You'd have an extra lid, but you could offer the double bases to your customers. You know, they could mix and match. So you could, whatever you do for the top could match, you know, multiple tumblers. So I thought that was cool. So what I've done, yeah, is just a recap. So this was the margarita mix from the Crystal Ninja. 
and so it was a limited run and so I didn't have enough to do the entire bottom of the tumbler. So I had to figure out some sort of design that I could do um, down here that would use a lot of the stones but it wouldn't use them all. So what I'm going to do is um, I spray painted it black like you saw earlier in the video and then I spray painted um, a color shift uh, spray paint and I got that at uh, Hobby Lobby and then I coated the whole thing this bottom part in epoxy the top part I sprayed in that same color shift spray paint but I did not coat the top in epoxy I just put the um, two part epoxy adhesive directly onto the spray paint I did let it dry for several days so this is done it is a little bit heavy but it is so pretty and so um, it's been curing for many days it's plastic on the inside, but it's a good, a good high quality plastic. All right, so this one's finished. I'm going to put that off to the side. So now I'm working on this. So what I want to do is here inside this mermaid, um, I'm going to spray paint this like a peekaboo. So I'm going to spray paint the whole thing black and then come and I'll pull this vinyl up. And so it'll reveal this teal color underneath the vinyl. And so that, anywhere that underneath the vinyl is where I'm going to finish putting this margarita mix. And then the rest of the tumbler will get scatter method black uh, rhinestones. So I hope that makes sense. Because um, this is all going to be black. I'm about to go spray paint this black. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like and I'll peel the vinyl. Um, then I'll let that spray paint dry for several days. Usually because I'm not in a hurry and this is for me. Um, and... Then, um, and I'm, I've ordered some larger black stones too, to help with the scatter method. So, um, so I can go ahead and fill in this part, um, the, the, um, uh, margarita mix part, and then come back and fill in the rest with black scatter. So, um, I've taped off the inside here with electrical tape and then the inside of the cup will be protected as well so I'm gonna go spray paint so I will update you when I get it done bye guys hi friends so I'm back so this has been spray painted for about 45 minutes now so I'm going to pull the vinyl and I just did one light coat I didn't let it um, pull up too much you know over spray it because this is all going to be covered in black rhinestones except for this this part here. So I've got my pen pen. Let's see if I can get it to pull up. I don't do a lot of peekaboos, but I'm pretty sure you're supposed to pull them up uh, fairly quickly. she's is also some of the mermaid silhouettes kind of are like too sexy like a playgirl playboy sorry like a playboy um decal that's on the back of a pickup truck or something so I was wanting to make sure that my mermaid was just real basic and had a real pretty tail you know real uh, um just like a fun tail and um I didn't want her to look like one of those Playboy stickers. <laughs> and then there's my name. And then I, I did put my name kind of at an angle to help take up some space. To kind of be a little bit more whimsical. So all those decisions, you know, are things that you can think about. And so um, surely I have enough mermaid, uh, margarita mix left over to fill in her and then my name. 
and then the rest will be black and then I don't know what I'm going to use the rest whatever margarita mix I have left over I haven't figured that out yet so I'm going to let this paint cure for at least 24 hours and then I will come film me working on filling in the rest of the tumbler all right thanks guys bye <music>
And so the bottom somehow it did get off. Um, but I feel like I was able to mask it well enough. Um, that unless you're really, really looking at it, you don't see that the the one row just ends. Um, and so it does have this little screw on base that um that I can use. So um here I'm going to um so I finished all of the little stones on this side. I did that last week so this glue is really good dry. I'm trying to get the light there you go so you can see how I filled in all around her silhouette. And so that's what I'm gonna do um, I'm on the side where my name is. So the filling in does take quite a bit of time, but um, at the end of the day, it's super worth it. So this, these stones here are from um, pinkandpurplemonkey.com. They're just SS20s for the most part. And then I did get a set of the black fillers um, and I just put them here in either um, these medicine trays or um, if you go to my YouTube channel, you're probably already on my YouTube channel, um, I show my little storage um, case that I purchased. Um, those t worked really well. It's like a bunch of these little medicine trays, but it, there's also like a binder that holds them together. And I added that case to my honey watch list. And since I did that video, I've gotten two more cases. The price dropped um, temporarily. So I got one, my second case for $19.99. And then I just got another case over the last week for like $16.99. So if you um, do the honey, um, and I could try to put a link. I don't know if there's a referral link. I could try to put that description to the honey. It's like an extension on your Chrome browser. Um, then... You know, it will alert you to do emails when the price has dropped. And you have to kind of be looking for it because those prices will jump right back up within like an hour. So, um, so yeah, so check that storage case out. I'm really, I'm really liking it. So, um, these, I believe I've checked all of these spaces and they're all too big for an SS20. So, I'm going to work, um, work my way in to fill the smaller ones. Um, I use Super Tight Fusion Tack. And I just switched over to this Crystal Ninja bottle that I've had since last summer. And um, I really, 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 really like it. It is way better than those little precision point bottles that I had been using. Um, I don't know what, what the difference is. I don't know if it squeezes better. Um, and then I did what they suggested just to stuck a little piece of tape on the, the little stopper pin so that you don't lose it. But I um, highly, highly recommend these. Okay, so let's see if I can get this going. And of course, I use the Crystal Katana pickup tool. Um, and you can buy these, I believe, at Hobby Lobby. And um, you can buy them on her website, crystalninja.com. Um, and she hand makes all of these herself. Um, and if you go watch some of her videos, you'll see her making those. All right, so um, I have a mixture just left out here in this little tray. Um, you can get these trays on Amazon. They may even have them at Hobby Lobby. Um, also, you know, I can just dig out a few from here and just put them on my mat. It's good to have a neoprene mat down, kind of like a mouse pad. Um, it helps prevent this from getting worn out. Um, but these kind of trays help, help to turn the stones over so that the, the black part or the color part is facing up. So, all right, so um, there's no real, real good place to start. Um, maybe work from the top down just so your hand's not um, touching the wet stones. I don't, I don't know. Just kind of rhyme or reason on it. So again, I'm gonna try to do the top. I don't, I don't know. I just kind of work, work around the whole area. So um, this part um, was spray paint, black spray paint. Um, and I did not epoxy on top of the black spray paint, but I did epoxy on top of the green spray paint. So all that was at the beginning of this video. 
So when I'm doing these filler areas, I just kind of take the, the glue and lightly fill in um, a few spots and then work, work that way. So technically this part is considered the scatter method. So a lot of them just end up being the smallest stones that I have. And you can use this end of the, the tool as well. To, um, sometimes if there's a little bit of glue on it, it'll pick up a stone. <laughs> it's not supposed to be work that way, but, um, I kind of, I kind of let it do that. So just picking these up and so that, that stone's too big for that spot. So we're going to put it there. We're just filling it in as much as possible with the largest stones possible. And then we scoot down smaller. There's a stone in there. So sometimes all you can do is just that super small size, which is probably like an SS4 or SS3. Um, I'm not really exactly sure how small these smallest stones are. So that, that back end's not going to pick up. You don't want to put too much glue there because it will easily kind of drown these little bitty stones. And since your base um, is the same color as the stones, it's, I mean, you're not going to get everything completely. Um... You're just going to have to live with what you can get. So again, I, how I do it, and, and it might be backwards, I don't, I don't know. I, I take my largest stones and go as close to whatever design as possible. So if, if those SS20s would fit, like here they did, they fit here in the O, I, w I would, I would put them there. Um, and I feel like that makes the design a little bit more cohesive. I don't, I don't know. It's just, um, how I did it, like, on this one, too. Because you're going to get a different, um, like, level of shimmer on those smaller stones, and so I feel like it can stand out if you if you focus all small and then out here, you do large. So I feel like if you can take the large stones as close to the uh, design as possible, then that's more ideal. And I'm no expert on this. Um, this is maybe my third full tumbler and like I said I've been working on this um stainless deep I released these cups in December I believe and they haven't really been super popular I think a lot of people don't know how to how they would handle putting the dome on a on an epoxy turner um so I think that I mean, she's got a really good price on them. 
and I think they look amazing with the um, rhinestones on them. I wouldn't want to do a honeycomb on on it. So that's all I'm working on. So I'll try to do like a time lapse so y'all can try to watch. Um, and I don't know how many stones y'all are going to ask in the comments. I have zero idea how many stones total are on this thing. And I don't think I'm going to go through and count them. Um, that's just me. And so I will see y'all later. Okay, so finally finished. I probably should have looked at the clock, but I didn't. Kind of didn't know if I was going to sit here and finish this whole thing. Or take a break. Um, the shop light, well, it's not a shop light, it's a desk lamp. That I'm using is causing my glue to dry faster than, um, and it's warmer in this room too. So my glue is drying a little bit quicker than I'm used to. And I don't know why, even though y'all aren't technically watching me uh, with the time lapse, I was really nervous. <laughs> like I'm doing something wrong. Hopefully I'm doing this right. Um, I haven't lost a stone on my tumbler that I made last year, last May. Um, I like to test things before I make them for other people or if I make them for someone else it's a gift before I know the longevity of my my work um, so just using a lot of small fillers and what kind of sucks about that is it's kind of hard to get just those little SS4s. You kind of got to buy them. Sometimes you have to buy them in um, like a group. Daisy, what are you doing? She's all up in my business. What are you doing? Get back. That's Hunter. Sorry. They are ready to play. This is cutting into their playtime. So this little tail had um, like a little cutout in it, so right there's black stones. Let's see how many I can fit in there. So I'm going through and doing these, and then um, I'm gonna let the glue dry because it's still white. A little bit um, and then I'll go through and hit any spots that I missed or that I think I can cram another stone into 
and um, it will be finished. Uh, aside from curing, you want to let it cure for uh, at least at least a week, um, and then wash it with some warm soapy water. But don't soak it. Um, and if I was going to um, sell this or give this to someone, I would give them some care instructions. I told them, um, don't soak it. Do not leave it in a even slightly warmish car because that will um, reheat the glue and your stones might fall off. Um, definitely do not soak it in any water, just um, use a light brush, clean, preferably not covered in like your pots and pans, grease, you know, like maybe have a special brush for your tumblers, because um, a greasy dish brush will dull the coat on the stones. Okay, so. That's what it looks like fresh. And so it's not completely perfect. There's like a little hole right there that I might go back and get. Um, I guess I could check this side to see if I missed anything. There's some up here I could get. But I think I'm going to um, leave it alone for now. And take a break, walk away, stretch my back. So that's what we got looking like so far. So I will post pictures. Oh, um, I was going to tell you. So this, it just has quite a significant taper on it, which means the top is wider than the bottom. Um, the honeycomb was a small challenge. Also, um, the honeycomb broke up whenever the words or the design was there. So I had to just eyeball it and hope that it was kind of coming across evenly. Um, and also this dome lid does come down over the tumbler a little bit. So what I, how I handled that, and there could be a better, a better way, I don't know. So I put the lid on all the way and I took a pencil, um, like a mechanical pencil. And of course this was before any stones were here. And I drew a line, and you can still see it. Hopefully it'll wear off eventually. Um, so you can see that pencil line all the way around. And then I lined my very first row of honeycomb of these SS20s up along that line just as good as I possibly could. Um, and of course I let those dry, that first row, um, so that my baseline was set. Um, and after I did my first row and I let it dry, after it dried, I put the lid on just to make sure that the stones weren't going to impede the lid from going on. So let's see. So see how close that got? So if I had not noticed that, um, then, and I had started the honeycomb all the way up here, then the lid would have knocked off my first row. And it could have been after I'd done the whole thing. So those are just things to think about when you're doing tumblers. Um, but yeah, um, if I was gonna do this whole thing, I would want something to break up the middle. Um, and that way the honeycomb doesn't get off as much um, because there's something that breaks it up. I was debating on putting a, some scales here um, just to help there not be so much honeycomb. But I felt like that was just going to be a little bit too much. Like, we're either the full mermaid or we're the scales. Like this. We're kind of one or the other. Um, but, like I said, I overthought this for pretty much a year. <laughs> and up until the time I was covering this spot with the honeycomb... You know, I was, I was thinking, oh, I need some scales or I need something. But um, after all is said and done, I'm very, very happy with it. Um, I think it turned out great. You can see the little divot there in the name. Um, this was actually two different fonts. I could try to put those in the... Um, the M was a different font than, than 
the ONA. My friend Angela helped. <laughs> I sent her several font swatches saying, what about this one? What about this one? And Martina helped too. And um, up here at the top, I just let it be. I didn't fill in the little gaps in between each stone on the bottom. But on the top part, I did. So, um, that's about all the notes that I can um, say for this. Um, these are... These stones here are the expensive um, Crystal Ninja. I don't know if they're Swarovski, um, but they're a higher, higher caliber of glass stones. And then these are just a regular glass stone from Pink and Purple Monkey. So, um, so this this would be a higher priced tumbler if I was going to sell it on the marketplace um, or on my website. Because these stones are um, a higher end stone. Alright, so feel free to comment, put in questions, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And, um, and I will see you guys on the next, next one. Bye. <laughs>